Hello everyone, I'm Kim Creighton and welcome to Biz for Social Change. I created this channel and the handles and everything that go with it because as I've traveled the world speaking at technology conferences over the last two years, talking about how we can make our organizations and communities healthier, more inclusive, more diverse um, for all people involved, I, it felt very reactive. It felt I was always putting out fires. And I'm not a reactive person. My motto in life is, do I want to be happy or do I want to be right? And happy often, more times than not, thankfully, wins out. Because being right, may, I might be right, but I might not be happy. I might have to argue with someone. And to, for me, it's just not necessary. It's not, unless there's something huge, it's just not something I want to do. So, um... Thinking about a more proactive way of improving technology communities and organizations, specifically organizations, I decided to start Biz for Social Change, so Business for Social Change. And it's a movement that's been going on, and I don't know how many of you have heard about it, but it's a movement that says, that has the beliefs, that has the tenets that you can have a great business be profitable, be global, compete, be innovative, be able to differentiate, um, and still be a good, good global citizen. Be good to your employees, be good to your partners, be good to your stockholders, your shareholders, all stakeholders, internal and external. And when I say be good, that means Consider their well-being in the decisions you make as you grow a business, as you grow a community. Will all of their um, needs and wants be taken care of every time? No, because that might not be in the best interest of everyone or best interest of the business, because bottom line, for it to be a successful business, it has to make a profit. But it's not just about shareholder, shareholder value anymore. It's not about just looking at those few people who bought into the company early on or whatever and considering their needs. It is considering all stakeholders' needs, as I say, internal and external. And the data shows that when you do that, businesses that do that do well. Businesses that can differentiate themselves as doing good for all stakeholders can charge more because um, they're not competing on price. Um, they have great customer service. They have fans as customers, people who go out and tell their story. And they don't have to tell their story because their customers are telling their story. And so that's what Business for Social Change is. And for the next 365 days, I'm going to take you on a journey with me as I build Business for Social Change as a business, um, as a media platform, as an education platform, as an advocacy platform. So um, thank you. Welcome. Subscribe and come back because there's something every day. Every day I'm going to be doing Business for Social Change 365. Um, I'll be dropping here on YouTube when I present or um, talk at a conference. If there's recorded, I'll drop it here. Um, anything that I'm doing, the podcast, the three... Um, biz for, um, social change podcast that I'm going to be doing. I'll drop it here. So come back, tell everybody because in 2018, we're going to be causing a scene and that's not in a negative way. That's saying, you know what? I'm at the business table. My perspective matters and you need to hear me out. So thank you and enjoy the journey.